And there it goes in the distance. We are officially at our new destination for U-Haul. And we just got off the freighter that took us across the ocean all the way to Ravenport, boys. We are back finally. And this city is booming for business. And that's why we're going to be opening the newest U-Haul store in this city. Hopefully rent out a ton of trucks and make a ton of money. Because we're going for the B, the billion dollar number with this business. So let's head on into the city and see what we're working with. Because today, it's all about scouting land and purchasing new vehicles, possibly building the new store. So, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we've got a lot of work to do. So, I'll see you guys in the city. But before we get there, if you guys enjoyed this series and want to see it continue in Ravenport, drop a like on this video right now and subscribe while you're down there if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Alrighty, we're getting close to the city. You can see it down there. The train's moving. This is a really good town when it comes to selling things. There's a giant dealership in town. It's called Morgan's Massive Motors. So, it's a really big dealership and they've also got Carlos's Reliable Motors, which is right here. So they've got a lot of car dealerships and we're going to be opening a rental truck business and trailer too, because that's what U-Haul is all about. So this is Carlos Reliable Motors. He sells every kind of car that you could think of in existence, which is pretty cool. He's got an import export business. He's got, you know, just your classic American brand trucks, everything he's going to supply for us at a cost basis, meaning we get to save money on it, which is even better for us. So let's, uh, let's kind of look around the city. I know you guys have been here before in the past, but but for those who have not, we're going to check it out. So let's swing around the block. What do we got is we got some space back here. I want to be right in the front of real estate, though. I want to be, you know, like having the big sign right on the street view. So I don't feel like any of this is going to work. It's just like too tucked behind all the other businesses because it is a busy city. So it's kind of crowded. So we got to find a good spot. Let's see. Wait for that car to go. And let's head down this block and see if there's any spots. Um, actually, maybe right there. That could work. Okay, we'll maybe come back to that. So keep that as option number one. We're gonna try and find three options today before we close on a property here. So uh, let's see. This is a second property, but it needs some ground leveling. I don't think we can have a business on a hillside. You know, we would have to fix that. So that's gonna be a pretty hefty cost. So option two has got, you know, some negative effects of it. And then let's see if there's anything on uh, this main street here. There's a ton of little shops right here, surf shops and all the cool stuff. So I wish there was something like right there if we could get rid of that hotel. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So let's swing up the main street again and see if there's anything else. I'm not sure. Yep, that's a parking lot. We can't take that. But uh, it would be cool if we could maybe take these trees out, level it out, take those cars out of there and make it no longer a parking lot. I just don't think that's possible with how restrictions are in this city. So as far as I've got, I've got two options so far. We need a third. We're not stopping until we have a third option here. We can't build on train tracks. That doesn't really work, but let's head over here by the gas station. I'm not sure if there's anything, but it could be possible we'll find something maybe right next to it. I don't know. Okay, I'm mistaken. There's a house there. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to go back and see if we can do anything with those one or two options. We've got to call the real estate agents on those, see what the prices are for those properties. They're empty lots, so maybe we can get them at a good deal. There's nothing on them, which is good too, because we can kind of build what we want. Let's go check it out. There should be a phone number on the sign. Okay, we're here. We're going to throw the hazards on the truck because we're in the street right now. But what we're working with is we've got this place for sale. Uh, only thing is it's kind of behind a shed, as you can see. Someone, I don't know if they live here, but this might be their workshop or something. Uh, that's kind of negative marketing because we want to be on the main street. We want to be advertising to everybody. And this doesn't seem like a very busy road. So the cost of it is cheaper, obviously, for the land. But I don't know how it's going to do for business. And we don't really care about land prices. We do have $1.3 million to spend, including vehicles. So we've got a little bit of cheese to spend. Um, and we're going to spend as much as we can for our budget. So, all right, let's uh, let's probably back up. Let's go look at the other two options again. And I actually missed the third option. There was another place for sale was just on the opposite side of this place. So as you can see, for sale right there. Check it out. I didn't even see this sign on the right side. So right here, we've got this entire you know property of land. But the cool part is it's just closer to Main Street. It's across right from all the shops right here. We could build in like a cool little driveway that connects to the road. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we could do. I feel like there's a lot of land here. We just got to take these palm trees out and some other trees, you know, sitting around, level the ground out, and then we've got our shop. So I think this could be a pretty good piece of land. I'm going to give them a call and see what the price is on it. Hi there. How's it going? I'm calling on your property located at 17 and Main. Oh, uh, yes, there. Uh, what property is it? Uh, just an empty uh, piece of land here. So it's not the one on the other side of the road, one on the, it'd be the north end. Right, right, understood. Uh, the property probably sell for six hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. Uh, six hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. Is the uh, seller pretty firm on that, or what's uh, what's the price negotiation there? Because I'm looking to buy today. Oh, uh, you're looking to buy today. That is. Um, let me give the seller a call and see if they do six fifty. How does it sound? 
Uh, 650 is a good number. I was thinking a little bit lower, but hey, if it's 689 ask, I'll maybe offer 650. Let's, let's do an offer of 650, and I want an acceptance today. All cash. Got it? All right. Sounds good. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye. All right. Well, we offered 650 on this property. It's a lot better than this side because there's more land, and also it connects to the back road. So we might even be able to be, you know, buying this property in the future, and then that connects to this street, which is right up of, you know, the dealership and everything. The shops are there, so there's a lot of opportunity. We eventually buy that house, that house, and then knock them down. But uh, hold on, I'm getting the call back already. My name is this Ian. Uh, yep, yeah, this is Ian. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, the, the seller accepted your offer of 650000 Oh, great, great. All right, well, yeah, there's pretty limited real estate in Ravenport, so uh, thankfully they accepted it. Yep, yep. Uh, where are you going to wire the money to? Um, I'll have my bank and my account wired to you, like, right now, because we want to get building on this today. All righty. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. All right, well, we just bought a property. Let's take this sign out of the ground. There we go. That's better. No more for sale signs. So what we got to do first, boys, is we got to take these trees out. We're going to level out the ground. That's the first thing we could do before we put in a shop or anything crazy. And then also the uh, seller did say that the property line ends right here before this pedestrian trail that goes to the other shops. So right through here where I'm walking is where our property line ends. So we go up to this person's driveway thing. We go all the way over to here, almost to this greenhouse. And then you go back this way. So all the way up into the street pole, basically. So this street pole to that basically crossing sign right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out this tree, the palm tree right there, and we're going to level out the ground. So let's jump into construction mode. All right, the trees are gone. So next up is we got to level out the ground here. Uh, they left their lawnmower on our property line. I'm going to have to give them some trouble for that, but uh, we'll get rid of it eventually. Here we go. Let's take the leveling tool and let's level the ground out. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go a little bit lower. So we're going to level it out kind of similar to the street. We don't want to be elevated on a hill. It's just unnecessary problems, you know? Because, uh, you know, people driving trucks downhill sometimes isn't the best idea. So there we go. I think that's our property line just about. So let's kind of uh, go all the way to that person's driveway. We'll only use as much space as possible. And also, we need to figure out a way to separate these properties from these houses. I don't want to be too crazy because we are a business, you know? Let me go move that lawnmower really quick. All right, I guess the lawnmower doesn't move. Okay, well, what we're going to do is uh, put a rock wall in. So this will be kind of cool, kind of separate the property a little bit. And then we're going to do a fence above that. So it's going to really separate it. And then maybe some trees up top. We just, we want it to be pretty cool. So, all right, rock wall right here. This is, this is already looking a lot better here. And then we need to pick a concrete type. I think we're just going to go with uh, just normal concrete. There we go. Fix this all up. Looks like we might have to do a little bit of a hill elevation here. So like that. Look at this. This is already looking amazing. All right, hold on. Now flatten this ground out. There we go. This should be enough space for a new shop. Um, like I said, the land purchase was six fifty, so we only have six hundred fifty thousand dollars left. We don't have much left. You know, with vehicles, those kind of get expensive. So let's maybe allocate a hundred and fifty more to just the, the building part of it. So like we get a nice size shop, and then the other part will be for buying vehicles. Either like five hundred thousand, because the vehicles are not cheap. If we need to buy like six trucks, that's gonna cost us a hundred thousand dollars each. That's six hundred thousand dollars. All right, uh, let's fill in these spots. Oh, no, I'm getting into the rock wall there, but we want to clean it up. Look at just this old cement and stuff. We need to get rid of all that. All righty, there we go. So that's what it looks like kind of cleaned up already. We're going to leave this street pole here, but I do have to fix this part right here where that concrete is. There we go. And then we're going to put some uh, some new lawn right here by this person's lawnmower. So they're not going to move it, then they can mow the lawn. So there we go, kind of redo it there. That looks good. And then also by this person's property, when we're doing the rock wall, we accidentally, you know, there we go. It's all fixed now. Okay. So now what we got is we have this pedestrian trail. It's for the city. So we need to kind of separate this. I need a fence. I don't care what fence it is. Preferably, it's got to be a pretty good fence. So something like this. All right. Here's the fence going in. This looks pretty good. It goes uphill to a point. And there we go. We're going to probably just go all the way around the property with it. I see why not. Sort of like this. It's going to really separate it. I don't know if they're going to mind it. I mean, it's like a nice fence in their backyard. I don't know why they wouldn't. And then we're going to go all the way through here, separate this property. Wow, the terrain is steep here. We kind of build it on a hill, but we're doing the best we can. It's kind of unique. I think it's going to be one of the more unique builds we've ever had. There we go. And let's wrap it up right there. All right. Well, that's what the gate looks like. It looks pretty good, I do have to say. Next up, we need a nice size showroom. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to place it over in this corner. Right here in the front, we're going to put just some bushes right here, kind of separate it and let them know that the driveway is right on this portion. And then we're going to go put grass back down right here, kind of make it look nice. Look at that. It's already looking a ton better. And then we'll put some new grass down. All right. We've got some small trees too. Let's put like two or three down right there. 
Um, but right here, the driveway, you're going to drive in, and then to the right is going to be parking and storage for outside vehicles. Over to the left is going to be the shop. We need to find the shop, though. There we go. The building was $90,236. So that's actually the perfect budget we were looking for. So let's go ahead and fix the concrete up here. And then it's all set in place. It's a little bit bigger than I thought. So we got some more storage. Nothing in the back here. It's just going to be, you know, empty space. But on the side, we got some spots for parking. We just need to figure out where we want to put the parking spots at and all that. Um, but, I mean, it's a pretty good amount of space. The problem with this city is real estate's expensive. You know, it's prime real estate here. We could put a vending machine in, but I don't really want to do that, like I said. Um, so, all right, this is this is looking good. I like it. I like it. So you kind of come in on an angle here. You got the three doors for indoor storage. It can probably store like five trucks. So it's a pretty good amount of space. But let's, uh, let's go over to decorations here and see what we can fix up. We got these lights too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them along the fence, sort of like a border. And it's going to light up the fence at night. It's going to be pretty cool. It's kind of draw attention to people, you know, when they're driving by at nighttime. And then also we're going to light up the building. So we're going to put some lights in the ground here. And you can drive over these. There's like nothing wrong with it. So let's put one there. And then let's put one more like right there. So it'll look really cool at night. We'll come back and check it out. And then we're going to put some front lights maybe right here. Like there and there. So these are kind of just little accent lights. It's pretty sweet. We can light up the gate too. Right over here. There we go. We put a tree in right there. I don't know why. Um, but uh, I think it's nice. It doesn't really serve a purpose. But it looks cool. So okay. Next up is the plants. And we also need parking spots for right here. Wait. I got distracted. I found outdoor furniture. We could actually building one of these little things right here. These are called a pergola. We're going to build one out right here in the backyard because why not? Look at that. That looks sweet. Hold on. We need to fix it up right here. All right. There we go. Look at that. So now customers can like sit down and stuff while they're waiting for a rental or whatever. That looks pretty cool. All right. Now we need parking spots and we'll be done with the build here. All right, boys. Here's the parking spots right here. Check it out. So we are complete with the build. I'll show you the inside of the building really quick. And there we go. Look at it. It's super nice. There's a lot of bright lights in here. Let's see. Let's flip the switch. Look at that. Nice bright LEDs. It's super simple. It's definitely bigger than the last showroom. So it is an upgrade, we'll say. A little bit less lot space, but uh, we'll park the trailers over here, trucks inside, and we'll be good. I mean, this is going to be a pretty sweet property. And this marks officially U-Haul store number four. And uh, yeah, this is the fourth generation and we've closed all the other ones and that's pretty much it. I mean, we just move cities because people kind of get their jobs done when we're in town. We're almost like a, you know, like a city season above business. We kind of like show up for a year and then we leave. It's it's kind of all over the place, but we introduce this new cities every year and they love it. So we're in a new town. Hopefully business is good for longer than a year so we don't have to move again. But here's what it looks like, guys. If you want to see us come back, customize some lifted trucks and trailers, drop a like and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.